This is not only a recipe that tastes amazing, but it's a great recipe to get the kids involved in as well. I'm making my apple pie pinwheels. But this is a real fantastic dish to get the kids involved in and you know I'm always about getting the kids into the kitchen to get them to start cooking. It is very, very easy to do. And personally, I'd rather them be eating a dessert like this than something that's really highly processed and manufactured. But that's enough preaching from me. Into a bowl, you wanna add your sugar and cinnamon together. Mix it all around. And now we're gonna do our apples. And you wanna cube the apples. And one way that I've actually found easy to do this is I bought this gadget while I was in Los Angeles. It's a potato chipper. I've actually never used it to make potato chips before. But what I do use it for is this. I actually put my apples through it. I don't have to skin them. I don't have to core them. I just push it straight through and I get these patterns of apples, not like apple fries almost. And then I just grab a knife and then I cut them up into cubes. Very, very simple um, and really weird that I have never used potatoes in my potato chipper, but I'm using it to do apples. But if you don't have a potato chipper, of course, you can just use a knife. It takes a little bit longer and you won't probably get that precise cut, but you will get the same effect. You just want them in small cubes. Now, the apple I'm using today is my favorite apple in the world, is a pink lady apple. They are native to my home state here in Australia. But you can use Granny Smith apples, any other pink red apples if you want. It's really up to you. Whatever's in season, whatever's fresh, whatever's cheap, use it. So pour in the cinnamon sugar over the apples and just mix them and get them all nicely coated. And here comes another variation part of this recipe. The pastry I'm using is a short crust pastry, which means that it is not going to expand like puff pastry does. It's going to be almost like a cookie. But if you want puff pastry, if you want that sort of texture as well, you can use puff pastry. I prefer them uh, like this with that cookie texture and that taste as well. Now you can make your own short crust pastry. I'm just using store-bought. It's really simple, it's really convenient, especially for dishes like this. I just have it in the freezer, ready to go, get it out when I need it. And all you have to do is lay it out on a board and then put over that apple cinnamon sugar mixture and spread it all to the sides, leaving about a centimeter or two on each side and just press that apple down into the pastry a little bit. And then all we're gonna do is start to gently roll it up. And if you have a few cubes at the end that sort of push out as we're rolling it up, that's okay. But you want that pinwheel really, really, really tight. And then very carefully just cut them into slices. I generally start from the middle and then work my way out. And then all I do is place them on a baking tray on a baking mat or some baking paper or parchment paper. And I sprinkle them with some Demera sugar, which is a beautiful crystallized brown sugar that has a great flavor. It melts really well when we bake them and it's got this really deep, nice caramel flavor to it. So now we're gonna place them into a preheated oven at 180 degrees or 350 Fahrenheit. And we're gonna bake them for 25 to 30 minutes. They will go beautiful and golden brown. The apples will start to caramelize and release of their juices and get nice and sticky. So while they're in the oven baking, we're gonna make a glaze that we're going to spread over the top of these when we're finished with them. And again, really simple. You can make this while they're in the oven. Into a bowl, I'm gonna be adding in some icing sugar or confectionery sugar or powdered sugar. I'm adding some milk, some vanilla bean paste, and then I'm gonna mix it until it's nice and smooth and then I'm going to add some corn syrup. Now, the corn syrup will make this glaze nice and shiny. It's gonna make it really stand out. You know you go and see cinnamon scrolls and they've got that beautiful white vanilla glaze on them. Well, we're just gonna add a little bit of corn syrup just to give us that nice sheen to the glaze. Doesn't add anything in flavor. Does add something and a little bit of uh, texture as well. Does make it a little bit more uh, smoother but it's the look, it's that real glossy look that we're after. And then I personally put it in a piping bag so it's ready so I can just pipe it 
over the top, but if you don't have a piping bag, you could just put it in a bowl and use a spoon for the same effect. So bring them out of the oven and have a look at how gorgeous they are. Leave them to cool slightly for only for about five minutes they're gonna need. And then I'm gonna hit it with that vanilla glaze and just check that out. It is absolutely gorgeous. The smell of the cinnamon, the vanilla, those caramelized apples, the pastry, it is just smelling so good right now. And the pastry is crumbly. It's beautiful, it's got that cookie texture, but like I said, if you wanted the puff pastry, if you want that nice fluffy crunch, then you can use it as well, same method. They look spectacular, they taste amazing, they tick all my boxes, just give them a try. The recipe is in the description below. Please, if you enjoyed this recipe, give it a thumbs up, share it around with your friends and family, and I'll see you soon for my next recipe, and I hope you're having an amazing day.